ഹോൾട്ട് മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് ഇസ് എൻ ആംബുലേറ്ററി ഇ സി ജി മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് യൂഷ്വലി വിത്ത് എ ഡിജിറ്റൽ റെക്കോർഡ് അറ്റാച്ച് ടു എ ബെൽറ്റ് ടിപ്പിക്കലി ഫോർ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർ ടു ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് അവേഴ്സ് ടു ആർ ത്രീ ചാനൽസ് ആർ യൂഷ്വലി റെക്കോർഡ് വിത്ത് എൻ അപ്രോപ്രിയേറ്റ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പാച്ച് ഇലക്ട്രോഡ്സ് അറ്റാച്ച് ടു ദ ചെസ്റ്റ് ഹോൾട്ട് മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് ഈസ് യൂഷ്വലി ഡൺ വെൻ എ കാർഡിയക് അറിത്മിയ ആസ് ദ കോസ് ഓഫ് സിംറ്റംസ് ഈസ് സസ്പെക്റ്റഡ് ഇറ്റ് കെൻ ഓൾസോ ബി ഡൺ ടു ഡിറ്റക്ട് ഏട്രൽ ഫിബ്രലേഷൻ ആസ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് പോസ്റ്റ് സ്ട്രോക്ക് വർക്കപ്പ് dangerous signs to look for on a halter tracing are life threatening tachy and bradyarrhythmias here is a long pause which could cause syncope this is a long sinus pause in six sinus syndrome symptomatic long pauses in six sinus syndrome will benefit from implantation of a pacemaker implantation of pacemaker in six sinus syndrome will improve the quality of life this ecg shows complete heart block There are regular P waves and QRS complexes but atrial rate is higher than the ventricular rate. There is no relation between P and QRS complexes as evidenced by the totally varying PR intervals. These are the four criteria for the diagnosis of complete heart block in an ECG. A quite complete heart block is an indication for pacemaker implantation regardless of symptomatic status as it carries a high risk of adverse events and harm. This ECG shows a fast ventricular tachycardia which needs prompt treatment. If it is not responding to medications, a synchronized electrical cardioversion is needed. Cause has to be identified and treated along with it. Reversible causes like electrolyte abnormalities and ischemia do not mandate long-term antiarrhythmic therapy. Some cases may need radiofrequency catheter ablation and implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Most dangerous cardiac arrhythmia is ventricular fibrillation shown in this ECG strip. The person will be in cardiac arrest and will die unless immediate defibrillation is given. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation has to be given till a defibrillator is available. In case of ventricular fibrillation noted on Holter monitoring, it will not be treatable unless it occurs while in hospital or a bystander is available for immediate cardiopulmonary resuscitation. and follow up action in such situations it is a retrospective review of holter data this ecg shows multiple ventricular ectopics of different morphologies showing a high irritability of the ventricles risk for development of sustained ventricular tachycardia and sometimes ventricular fibrillation is high ventricular tachycardia if it occurs in this scenario could be fast polymorphic ventricular tachycardia known as toss at the points here we can see the diagram of a temporary pacemaker and x-ray of a person with permanent pacemaker temporary pacemaker is installed outside the body and connected to the cardiac chambers through leads introduced through femoral or jugular vein to treat symptomatic but reversible bradyarrhythmias permanent pacemaker is usually implanted subcutaneously and the leads are taken to the cardiac chambers through a subclavian vein puncture here it is a dual chamber pacemaker with a lead each in the right atrium and right ventricle this picture shows an automated external defibrillator aed for use by minimally trained persons in public places like malls railway stations and airports once the electrode patches are applied over the chest it analyzes the cardiac rhythm and gives audio prompts If a shockable rhythm is detected a shock is advised which the bystander can deliver in case of non shockable rhythms the device advises continuation of cardiopulmonary resuscitation thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.